Hello everyone, you know who it is, it's that proud black woman and I'm here again for another story time. As you can see from the title, I almost got beat up. <laughs> I almost got beat up by a white uh, girl. So this was what happened. Before we go get started though, remember, click the like button, smash the notification bell, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, okay? Remember, you can follow me on Instagram at that proud black woman, and you can also follow me on Facebook at that proud black woman. If this is moving all over the place, it's because I'm using a selfie stick. <laughs> so I brought my kids. You know how quarantine has been, so I brought my kids to the park so they can have a little bit of running around before they take their nap, and then I can relax. Anyway, let's get right into the story. So this was when I was living in Dublin, and. In my house, like in my apartment building, there are like seven uh, different uh, studios in there, which I am a proud owner. <laughs> I'm a proud renter of one of them. So uh, then I was in school, I was doing my master's degree, and basically it was only, my classes were only in the evenings from 4 to 10, 10.30 p.m. at night. Sorry guys, I had to stop for a second. I had to check on my kids to be sure that they're doing fine. <laughs> I don't want to get carried away by the video. Anyway, so as I said, my classes were from 4 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. at night. So I never really got to meet all other people that was living in the house because while I'm at home, napping or sleeping during the day because I had no job, all of them had gone to work. But then I've gone to school, they are back at home. So I never really got the chance to meet a lot of people it's only once in a while maybe on a weekend uh, while I'm like on my way out shopping or grocery shopping then I meet a few of them and I just say hi or hello and then I keep I keep going so we had a laundry and the laundry actually had since there's seven uh, flats and there's seven days in a week so you could do your laundry only on that day that you choose so my day was Wednesday so <laughs> My apartment was lock number three, so I uh, my day was on Wednesday. So usually, as I said, I never meet anybody doing the laundry while I'm at home or whatever, because then usually there's nobody at home. So this day, I was going to travel to the UK to visit uh, to London to visit a friend of mine, and I needed to do laundry bad, so it was a Monday, and I was like, you know what? There's nobody home anyway, so I could just put my clothes in the laundry quickly do a quick one and pack my stuff and head to the airport on Tuesday so I was like I'll just do a quick wash and dry and off I go to the airport right well it didn't happen that easy so I put my stuff in I think it was around 12 in the 12 in the afternoon and I put my stuff in and I went off into my room <laughs> all of a sudden I heard somebody cursing outside like because the laundry is like in a garden shed outside at the backyard and I heard somebody cussing so bad like who put stuff in the washing machine and she was like shouting and yelling and going crazy and by the way I've never met this lady I know she's I know she's in room one but I've never met her and I like I was peeping from the window because my window overlooks the backyard so I was like trying to look from the window to see how mad she is whether I approach her and talk to her nicely and get everything sorted up but I saw that this lady was raging I don't know what it was I don't know but she was so mad so I heard apparently the person in the uh, flat 7 saw me go put it there so I don't know that day everybody decided to be home and said oh yeah go to room 3 it's that lady in room 3 go to that lady and this woman came straight down started banging on my door like filled with rage bah, 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 bah. I'm sorry that I'm shaking the camera but she was like filled with rage and she was like I just you know how the uh, a mouse goes into your closet and you try to shake that mouse to come out and the mouse just stands still that was exactly me on that day like I was there in a standstill I didn't say a word like I acted like I was not home like I was literally scared <laughs> I know I'm a chicken <laughs> because I knew that I wasn't in the right so I, I I can't claim any rights or anything so anyway 
I waited for her to go back and when she left I went and wrote a note <laughs> it's so funny I went and wrote a note and apologized and all that stuff I'm sorry I didn't know you were at home and I just quickly needed a quick wash because usually I'm at home during the day and I never meet anybody I'm really really sorry if I've upset you blah 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 I wrote it and then I sneak gently to her door and I slid it under her door and I ran back to my flat I ran back to my flat so anyway the other uh, the next day she actually came knocking on my door and she was like you know what that's fine but do you want to switch days like if you prefer to do your laundry on a Monday we could switch days and you could do yours on a Monday while I do mine on a Wednesday so I said no 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 it was like a one-time thing It's because I was traveling and I needed my laundry done so that I could have good clothes to take along so I would rather retain my Wednesday anyway that's how we resolved that because but I was literally I thought I was going to get beat up like literally get beat up so I know that was like a stupid move like going with a letter and stuff but hey I was new to the country I don't want people calling the police on me or whatever so it's like can you please forgive me oh. anyway so I told you this was going to be a short story time thank you so much for always watching my videos and let me know what you want me to talk about next time if you want me to uh, talk about anything just comment down below sure we keep these conversations going suggest what you want me to say and remember subscribe turn on post notifications so that every time i post awesome videos you're the first to get notified and remember share share that's how we can promote this channel okay please share and let us be good to one another enjoy this day don't let the quarantine or whatever keep you down okay hold your head up high and always wish the best for yourself and work towards it okay thank you so much lovelies bye Mwah.